in our Sarah Kustak and Michael Grady to get their thoughts on what Kyrie just said and he's right he just has to focus on the game and move forward and he and Kevin Durant guys both said this isn't a one and done this is a series game two Wednesday night yeah Chris you know I, I come to the set Kus a little disheveled because this is how <laughs> you're supposed to look after a game that had 20 lead changes the final lead change was at the horn 12 ties I mean keep your defibrillator handy and the nausea bag handy because this is going to be a very very long series Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant Durant a little bit off tonight the physicality may have affected him somewhat but Kyrie was brilliant and you heard what he had to say there to the uh, to the media and reflecting on his interaction with the fans whatever it was it certainly fueled him in this ball game yeah and I think the thing we've seen out of Kyrie I mean the one thing that Kevin alluded to when he was talking is we we've already seen some extraordinary performances this season from Kyrie 60 50 I mean it, this is not something out of the ordinary however I think one the the fuel that may come from being in a building that does have a lot of hostility towards him um, on the flip side of things too Kyrie Irving is made for the postseason he is built to perform when the stage is set like this and so I think that's what we saw as he was able to come out and, and be the individual that we anticipate out of him now I think it's just about this group getting better the areas they need to be sharper with and everyone collectively being at the level that is necessary to compete and to find ways to win against the Celtics Man, team you said the word right there everyone you know how much attention Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are going to get. Goran Dragic played well off the bench, but Seth Curry had nine points in the first right. quarter, didn't score after that. Patty Mills, one for one in this ball game, only one shot attempt. And Bruce Brown had t something to say about yeah. Al Horford and Daniel Tice had an end to this ball game, but I don't think Bruce Brown will be very happy with his stat line. We feel like Kevin Durant is going to be better in game two, but other guys, as you just said, everyone is going to have to step up. And what Boston does so well, and we talked about this, I mean, the way their defense has played, in particular since the start of the year and since the All-Star break, the individuals that they have that are both excellent individual defenders and also collectively as a group, they shrink the floor and they make you feel bodies they're able to swarm I mean you even think about the last possession you know that the Nets had offensively of they were able to run two with Kyrie and then Kyrie finding Kevin who had Jason Tatum he's blanketing him so they do a good job of making sure you're not getting clean open looks and I think whether it's Bruce Brown whether it's Claxton Sesker figuring out where you're going to get your shots from is something that's going to be really important as this series goes on because as we know this in the postseason things change adjustments are made so this defense how they look the coverages they showed is not necessarily going to be the same when you turn the page to game two we are looking forward to game two it'll be a long series Chris I'm gonna have a few more grays <laughs> grays coming through I already <laughs> have plenty way, Michael brother. I already have plenty and I think I'm gonna have plenty more by the time this one is over and Frank